Wheat, one of the big three global cereal crops. About 600 million metric tonnes of wheat is produced globally each year, which means it accounts for about 30% of total cereal production. Being a staple food, providing around 20% of people's energy, wheat is integral to the food needs of over 2 billion people around the world. It is also an important part of our diet, providing significant health benefits. However, food security is fast becoming one of the most pressing issues of our time. Science has a really important role to play in protecting the future of our food supply, both here in Australia and internationally. There are three areas that we're working on. The first of those is to increase yields, particularly under drought conditions. The second, to improve disease resistance and the third is to improve the quality of the food that we can provide to the consumer. Unfortunately, these aims are much easier said than done. The wheat genome is one of the most complicated around, being approximately five times larger than the human genome and 40 times larger than the rice genome. One of the most exciting developments in recent years is a new approach, known as multi-parent advanced generation intercross, or MAGIC. MAGIC is a, um, a, an extremely innovative population, it has the potential to really change the way in which we start breeding plants. It's going to increase the speed and efficiency of breeding. MAGIC is a new technology that allows us to create an enormous range of diversity within the wheat crop, allowing us to identify the genes controlling the various traits we're interested in. MAGIC targets a key problem facing wheat researchers, how to make the link between wheat's huge genome and the performance attributes that drive the value of the crop. From a scientific point of view, there are three major advantages that MAGIC offers compared to existing approaches. To illustrate this, we'd like you to imagine the wheat genome as a series of genes linked together, like beads on a string. The first major advantage of MAGIC is that we can very efficiently shuffle the genes between different varieties of wheat enabling us to identify very accurately the order of thousands of genes along a chromosome. The second major advantage is that MAGIC incorporates a large proportion of the genetic diversity within elite varieties of wheat from around the world. And whilst we want to know which gene controls a particular trait, this isn't all we need to know. There is enormous diversity within genes that control important traits and we need to identify the best option. Using MAGIC, we can identify which of these genes variants is the best. The third major advantage of MAGIC is that it enables us to find the best combinations of genes for important traits, such as yield. MAGIC enables us to not only find all the genes that determine the trait of interest, but it can identify the very best combination of multiple genes. MAGIC is also highly efficient and adaptable. Now that the platform is established, we can identify the critical genes for a wide range of traits, including quality, disease resistance, yield, and many more allowing us to optimise genetic packages suited to specific environmental conditions. Because MAGIC includes wheats from around the world, its application is not limited to Australia. Back into the laboratory and our CSIRO scientists are using MAGIC to target the genetic markers for all of these key characteristics. The combination of genetic diversity and the multiple rounds of intercrossing that goes into the development of the MAGIC platform means that the genome is broken up into small segments. We can then use the genetic platform to understand which genes are controlling these traits and which combinations of genes. So essentially, it's a high-tech way of natural breeding. From a geneticist's point of view, what I find exciting about MAGIC is that we can not only identify the genes that are responsible, we can rigorously test previous assumptions about how these traits interrelate. And that's really critical for identifying varieties into the future. But what does this mean for the farmer on the ground? For farmers, 
magic has potential to improve the, the varieties in which they grow. This has a direct impact on the productivity on farms, the sustainability on farms, and the quality of the product which the farmer produces. Eventually, it will mean that magic will contribute to improved profitability and making a product for him which will be easier to sell. Magic may seem like a futuristic approach, but the reality is it's already up and running. We've spent five years using conventional plant breeding methods to generate the genetic lines that make up the magic platform. We've solved some key statistical challenges that allow us to accurately identify the key genes. Now we're focused on moving from the lab out into the growing region so that we can identify the genes that our farmers most need to help them. So while it's clearly something that scientists are getting excited about, what does magic mean for the average person on the street? In a nutshell, magic means a greater potential to create more food exactly where it's needed. Even for those consumers in countries with a more stable food supply, a product like Magic means they can be more confident in the availability of healthier foods, both in the near future and for the generations to follow. In order to fully realise the potential and power of the program, CSIRO is seeking partners both nationally and in the international arena. Science is in a unique position to contribute to help our farmers feed the world. Magic is shaping up to make a significant contribution. From the lab to the land to our plates, Magic has the potential to change the way we grow and consume wheat all around the world. Oh.